The first time it's used, Komodo Edit will start up with two tabs loaded, the user guide and the start page. We're not very interested in the start page, so let's close it straight away. We can prevent it opening up every time we start Komodo Edit by going to Edit, Preferences, and then choosing Appearance at the top, on the left, and unchecking the box where it says Show Start Page on Startup. Now we can make use of the User Guide just to demonstrate Komodo Edit's preview pane. Choose View, Browser Preview, or click on the Preview icon on the toolbar and choose to preview the page in a Komodo tab. And you'll see the formatted page just as it would look in a browser, just as it would look in Firefox to be exact. This is a feature that we can make use of, if we want to, when we come to writing and styling our HTML, instead of switching to a browser. According to the page layout, we might want to have this pane situated at the bottom of the window as it is now, or tiled to the right, with the window split. We can change the layout by going to View, Rotate Split View. Whether you use this preview pane or switch to a browser to see the changes to pages as you make them depends entirely on you. Now, if you want, you can optionally customize the display by using my custom syntax highlighting scheme. First, close down Komodo Edit. Then, go to the Working Files, Chapter 1, and select the file customscheme.ksf and select Copy. We want to copy this to your Application Data folder for Komodo Edit. To do this, you need to be logged into Windows as an administrator, and you will need to be able to see hidden folders. To do this, in Windows Explorer, go to Tools, Folder Options, click on the View tab, and check Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives. Then, in Vista and Windows 7, go to C, backslash users, backslash your username, backslash app data, backslash local, backslash, backslash active state, backslash Komodo edit, backslash 7.1 or whatever the version is that you've got, and then backslash schemes. And paste this custom scheme file in there. In XP, the application data folder is C, documents and settings, and then your username, and then application data, and then find the active state folder and the schemes folder inside that. Restart Komodo Edit and select Edit, Preferences, Fonts and Colors. And under Scheme, you will now find Custom Scheme listed there. Select this and click OK. Type something in, anything, doesn't matter and you will find that the text is much larger than it was. I've done this for the purposes of clarity in these videos, just to make sure the text really is visible. And as we go on and type in something real, you'll find that the colours of the various parts of the file, the syntax, are more vividly distinguished than they are in the default scheme. You can alter any aspects of this custom scheme by going to the Fonts and Colours dialog. For instance, if you don't want the text so big, you can reduce it here. All the colours are customizable, or you can revert to the default scheme or any of the others in the list if you prefer. Komodo Edit is now installed and set up as we want it.